Well, good morning. Welcome to our channel. We hope that uh, you will stick around for the whole video. Thank you for returning guests, and if you're new to our channel, uh, thank you for coming by. So today, we're in the forest right here in front of the house. As you see, let's see proximity. See, there's our house, there's our barn, old Bessie right there. Now, we've been talking about putting our feeder pigs in the forest for a while, but we let them work our garden, put them in basically back to permanent fencing just for a little bit, just to get through some of this rainy season that we were going through. But today, today, is forest pig time. Well, as you can see, we are down in front of the house. And you can see it's been raining still, but that's okay. Uh, this is, we're by our little, our little creek, our little, basically our, our pond is, I'm guessing, spring fed because we have a pretty good flow of water, especially when it rains all the way down. It goes all the way by the chickens and the sheep way down in there. So today we're gonna be taking this front paddock here of forest and making it for the pigs basically we have done some work in here with the tractor just getting some of the junk out of the way and we're eventually going to get all this the same way as you see this is all kind of wild and we've just had no purpose for it with the pigs and with a growing pig population with us trying to do some pig sharing this next year we need to do some work right here so this is going to be the first paddock that we're going to do work too so we've got it right on the edge of the creek you see the water is absolutely beautiful today is gorgeous trees are doing great all through here they're starting to put off blooms again uh, pines are putting off pollen it's a good time of year so we we got the creek running but we're going to run on the side of the creek we don't want the, the pigs in the creek we don't want them causing any issues with the creek so we're going to let it keep on flowing and put the the fence basically right on the edge now this then behind this will be what's next but i got to take some of the tractor and kind of clear out some of that that underbrush i don't want it so thick to where pigs can enjoy and also that it's just i just don't need it too 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 thick i'd rather have it where they can kind of work the ground and work under it and then ultimately just make it a little bit better looking anyway so we've got a little work to do in there for the next paddock or two but i mean they're going this is plenty of room here as you know this is where there's the dairy barn and there's the paddocks that's where the the dairy cows are right now so you see kind of where we're at proximity wise but i mean you see this is a huge 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 place they'll have compared to temporary fencing that they've been in on the garden so they should have i mean weeks and weeks in here of enjoyment before we have to move them again so you see i've got about six t-posts up and then we're going to use some trees we've got uh we're using temporary fencing like we always do we're using poly tape that we believe in we love it we actually use it for our cattle we use it for our uh, sheep we use it for our chickens all temporary fencing made out of poly tape or poly wire Today we're using poly tape like we do for our cows. So we're gonna put it, we're hoping that it will work. We don't like wire just because the wire is, uh, to me it's hard to stay tight unless you use some kind of tools. I think the poly tape is good because you can use it by hand and get as tight as you want. So we're gonna go ahead and put, we've got the T post up. So now we've got to put the insulators on the post. We're gonna run two strands, basically, maybe even three, but two strands. One at almost very bottom and then one, one just a little bit up from there may use a third one if we see that they're starting to jump out or want to jump out i don't see that but just in case and then uh we've got to go back and on some of the pines some of these bigger pines that we're actually using as a as a pull post we're gonna put some insulators in here the screw on insulators like a t-post fence uh kind of hooks to on a, on a wood post we'll do the same thing here and use those here yeah, y'all have seen in plenty of videos before get this fine down you've seen plenty of videos before uh all the supplies we use for poly tape and poly wire so uh let's get started and, and get this uh get this done and get the pigs moved over all 
Okay, so we've got all the insulators on, even the tree insulators. Um, what we do is we start off with our gate hook and hang it on really one of the T-posts. So that way we can pull it and get as tight as we can. We walk it with uh, our spool because again, the whole purpose of this is to keep it tight as possible. I'll start with the bottom first and then pull it tight as I can, literally. And once I get it tight, I pull it again to get it even tighter. Uh, I want it so tight and stretched that it won't move. So um, we get that done and then what we'll do is uh, depending on how um, how long the roll goes, sometimes we cut it. Uh, sometimes we jump it and jump it right above uh, and put it right on the, the second strand. So we'll kind of see how that goes. We have two of these gate op uh, openers so that way we can utilize them um, and open both of them up because we want the pig scared to even step over it. So uh, we, we got a, a high octane charger that's going to go in here, a low impedance high octane charger. So I'm thinking that will make a huge difference with these pigs. So let's go ahead and get this hooked and then we'll start running. All right, hook it. All right, get it. Put in the bottom hook. Good job, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so we got, we're putting up a little bit more T-post. What do you think so far? You think it's gonna hold them? <laughs> it's hold them? Oh, we'll see, we'll see. We've been reinforcing it. You know, we doubled it. All right, so how would you say, how much would you say that's off the, the ground? And how much would you say the second one is? Three inches off the ground, four inches off the ground? The first one? Yeah. Maybe two and a half, three, maybe, uh... But you're planning on putting another line on here up here, aren't you? Because they can dump to it. Peppa and George couldn't. Well, I'm thinking, why would they want to jump it, though, as hot as that is? Like, normally they can jump something that's got, like, wood, like that other one. But with that being hot, do you think they're going to try to jump over a hot one? What do you think? <laughs> I do. Okay. We can do another one. Okay. All right. So you go around. What we'll do is I'll put these on Aiden's. Yeah, I'll do Aiden's last two. Or three, eight, and one more, bud. And if you'll start on third row, I'll go ahead. I got to get some I mean, more I for the trees to, too. But I, we have seen them clear a, a thing this tall. So I just, I feel like if we don't, they're gonna easily jump over that. This is like a family workout, isn't it? It is. You think it's gonna hold? Maybe. We put three strands. We we're gonna do two, but Miss Max said we best do three. I don't think my problem was them jumping over, even though they can jump. I think my problem's gonna be just making sure they don't kind of root up from the bottom. But we've got it done. So I think we're in a good shape. It looks good. You can see it's a huge, huge, huge forest pig paddock. So They've got tons of room. We're fixing to get them. They've not ate today. We didn't give them any kind of feed, any kind of uh, old milk. And that'll help us walk them because we got to walk them from, all right, you see our house. They're actually right there on the back side of the barn. So we'll move them back this way, walk them right across the yard right here. And our gate openers are right there. So we're going to get that done right quick and we will be finished. We got to move the charger, move their water. And man, I'm kind of excited about this. First time we've been talking about this for about a month, so uh, I'm glad to have it uh, coming to fruition. Here goes nothing, y'all. We're moving the pigs over. We're going to see how it goes. Now, we've walked these pigs several times, and y'all seen that in other videos, but this is a walk all the way across a lot, to be honest with you. Oh, 
Behind them hard. Come on. I mean, look at that. That is so. They're all running through this grass. All right, everybody be still because I don't know who the pigs are. So the movement was easy. Misty sees a snake, drops the bucket. Pigs go nuts. I didn't, I didn't drop the bucket. I stopped in my tracks because I saw a snake and they attacked the bucket. And I was holding the baby. So it's March six. and we've already seen a what? That was about a three foot snake, something like that? Mm, or two and a half? But it was not venomous, but mm -hmm. it, a snake is a snake and it'll still bite. It's almost summer, could we swim? Almost summer, so can we swim? All right, so we got them moved. It was a team effort. Actually, they followed Misty's skim milk the whole way. She just happened to give it to them at their own place, huh? Well, there was nowhere for me to pour it. They just attacked me. Attacked you. They have grown, though. I think they've done really good. They've got a... This was... We used one spool, which was 1,320 foot. So, it's a pretty big paddock. Say bye. Say bye, pig. So, this Come vlog on. is ending. Say bye. We've had a good time. We got to finish making the moving the pig stuff and pick water and food, but all in all, it's a pretty good day. Can you say happy homesteading, y'all, JT? Happy homesteading, y'all. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Happy homesteading, y'all.